Caddis Maximus here. Decided to do a little video about my stone apple collection. A while ago I had done a video about my various stone eggs. And that is a thing at novelty shops and gift shops is apparently various fruit made out of both glass and stone. The stone ones are a little bit more expensive. And so it seems that a lot more stone eggs, and it's just various pieces of stone, just like these apples, shaped into an egg. It seems the second most popular would be apple shapes. Actually, ran into a few of these things, like these glass fruit, and you know, thought it was okay, but uh, never really got any more beyond this one weird kind of glass apple. And then I ran into these stone ones, and they're just obviously a lot more dense, like. I believe these may be sold as paperweights, not just as, you know, a collectible item. Nice gray stone here. The stem broke off. I'll have to end up replacing that. Don't know anything about rocks and minerals, but just thought these things were interesting as I go around garage sales and other places to try to find tools to make videos about. I've run into a few of these things, and sometimes they're more expensive, and sometimes they're pretty cheap, and that's when I pick them up. I know that they're quite a bit of money because at some garage sales people want 20 30 bucks and so it appears that some of these depending a lot of them doing a little bit of homework here Italian marble or various forms of marble is what these are made out of some of them are a little better this one's like a little small crab apple with a little brass stem this I think is actually trying to be a different fruit uh, other than an apple or maybe it just wasn't carved quite as well. This one has like a more natural wood stem and they just drilled a hole all the way through it. The rest of these are blind. Then we have various shades here and that's kind of what caught my attention. I think it was actually this one, the first one, when you are just back a few feet and you see something like this sitting on the table. This particular shade uh, really can fool you until you get closer and realize, oh wow, it's made of stone. And uh, it is interesting. Some of the ones like these, we start getting to a... We can see how much deeper the red is on this one than there is on this one. And some of these with these nicer brass stems can be a bit more expensive. So it explains why some of them I was able to pick up for 5 bucks, And why I've seen some of them at garage sales as high as 20 and $30. Is because a lot of them are kind of expensive. But I do think they're neat, you know, at a, on a coffee table or something, just having some stone apples are always kind of, uh, or maybe up on a mantle. I just really dig these things. A lot of people use them as paperweights. And maybe that's their original intention. It doesn't seem to be entirely clear besides they're just a novelty item. And I think they're a lot better than like these glass ones. And I should say, I do have this glass apple paperweight and I think this one's pretty neat just because it is a solid glass apple. Other than that, people have asked, you know, out of curiosity, since I do hunt around a lot of use for used tools, is the other kind of stuff that I've run into, novelty and little items that I've picked up along the way. And there has been a lot of other items just besides picking up old hand tools. Surprisingly enough, I built up uh, quite a few different little collections, so I'll periodically be sprinkling in uh, videos of various other things that I've collected. Actually, I was just looking, happen to have a quite the variety of Christmas lights. Maybe I'll get into those one of these days. Or months. Maybe closer to Christmas. Anyway, you can support the channel through the YouTube uh, Super Thanks Donation System, and really appreciate everybody who's been watching. And maybe if you know anybody who's in education, you can go and buy them one of these stone apple paperweights. Anyway, see you next time.